And that is why a more enlightened view is to see that all cultures and religions have truth. But no one has a monopoly on the truth. Let me illustrate it with a well-known analogy that really helped me when I learned it in my comparative religion class in college. There are five blind men who discover an elephant. Now, since none of these men have ever encountered an elephant before, they all grope about seeking to understand and describe this new phenomenon. The first man grasps the elephant's trunk, and he concludes that it is a snake. Another man explores the elephant's leg, and he describes it as, anyone? A tree? Very good. The third blind man finds the elephant's tail and announces that it is a... A snake? We already have a snake, Michael. But how about a rope? Hmm? Okay. Now the fourth man runs his hand over the elephant's ear and decides that it is very much like a fan. The last blind man discovers the side of the elephant and he concludes that it is after all, a wall. Each man in his blindness is describing the same thing, an elephant. However, each man is describing the same thing in a radically different way. Well, when it comes to God and truth, even the greatest religious teachers, Buddha, or Muhammad, or Christ, or the Dalai Lama, they're all like blind men who can only detect certain aspects of the truth. They're right in so far as what they're describing or teaching to us, but they only have a part of the picture. But Miss Robinson, we're not looking at a part. We can see the whole picture. Excuse me, David. I can see the whole picture. I can see that there's an elephant there, not just a tree or a snake or a wall. And your point? Your analogy accepts that there is no fit, that there is a God and such a thing as truth. But then you just assume that nobody can see it. Yeah, I can see that that's an elephant too. But the blind men can't. But why do you just assume that every religious leader is blind, that they can't see the elephant? Well, I think it's rather obvious. No man has a monopoly on the truth. Why? Because you and your comparative religion professor say it so? Just wanting something to be a certain way doesn't make it so. What if one of these leaders can experience the whole elephant, and therefore his teachings are complete and fully trustworthy, and that it's only the others that have a limited and unreliable perspective? Impossible. That teacher would have to be God himself. Well, guess what? One of the teachers you mentioned claimed to be God, the one who created the elephant. End of discussion. You know, I will not allow you to hijack this class with your fundamentalist Jesus freak nonsense and I will absolutely not allow your intolerance of other perspectives. How tolerant of you.